What's up everybody and welcome to the Bibo Online News Podcast. We are back for the new season. We have a lot to discuss from beef between stripes and gravity to WDSF licensed judges. So let's start. First of all, hooray for the marriage between Victor and Kate. Congrats with that amazing couple. What can we say? We have two amazing new tutorials on our channel. First of all, it's a tricks tutorial how to get from subtle freeze to one-handed freeze by amazing Bruce Almighty from Momentum Crew Portugal. The second one is about balancing on footwork the importance of balance by Tony Rock from Top Line Crew Russia. There are a lot of details in these tutorials, so you definitely should spend your time and check it out. Freestyle session took place in Orlando and the final battle was Victor vs Nels 1 and Nels 1 did the best round of the night for sure, check it out. And we are waiting for the finals of freestyle session on uh, 13th and 14th of November this year in California. We wish good luck the main organizer, Cross One, and congrats him with his new fucking Porsche. Nice finals at UDS Europe Battle in France. Check out the final Levo and Laget versus Mena and No Diamond. Congrats to Mena and No Diamond with winning that, and it was nice to see Lilo back with his famous battle attitude. I would say no serious battle attitude. Definitely a battle that you have to watch. In case you missed Outbreak Europe, you definitely should check out the battles. All battles are available on their official YouTube channel called The Legends. And congrats to the winners. Style Invaders, the young guns from Belgium, took the win in the final against 316 uh, Russia. One-on-one -on -one b-boy category, uh, the final was T-Rock from Belgium versus No Diamond from Russia and No Diamond took it. And as for Big category, young Big uh, Nika took the win, even though there were a lot of experienced participants such as Kastet, Emilka, Mad Max, Paulina, Jilu and many others. As for the sport breaking, uh, first European Championships happened in Sochi, Russia. And there were a lot of uh, b-boys and b-girls and participants from all over the Europe. Uh, but Russia took all the gold medals. As for one-on-one -on -one b-boys, the final was uh, b-boy Costa vs Jamal. As for b-girls, b-girl Kastet vs Vavi. And all these people are from Russia. And as for crew battles, uh, Russian national team won it easily without losing any fucking single round. And it was quite impressive, I would say. Next up will be the World Championships on 4th of December in Paris, France. Two years ago it was in China and the winners were B-Boy Mena from Holland and B-Girl Army from Japan. There will be only two nominations, uh, B-Boys 1-on-1 -on -one and B-Girls 1-on-1 -on -one, and the participants should be uh, 16 years old or older. The championships itself will be a qualifier for the World Games uh, in Birmingham, USA in July 2022. All battles from the first European Championships in Sochi uh, are available on the official YouTube of FDSR, its uh, Russian WDSF body. As for the future events, Unbreakable will be on uh, 18th and 19th of, of September. Uh, in, in Belgium as usual and judges are Mena, Intact and Munir and uh, there will be a few invited participants such as Phil from Squadron, uh, Jeffro and Stripes. So quite impressive lineup and I'm looking forward to see the battles. Also DPC Jam announced the date it will be on uh, 23rd of October in Zurich, uh, Switzerland. I think it will be as usual uh, with two on two battles and mixed invited guests. Looking forward to see it and by rumors there will be amazing duo B-Boy Amir from Predators and B-Boy Phil Wizard. WDSF made a congress about judging. Uh, now to judge big WDSF events uh, you should get a license from WDSF. The good point here is that to get this license 
You have to be a top ranked b-boy or b-girl, participated in big events such as BC1, freestyle session, etc, etc. Uh, but another point is that if you want to become a WDSF licensed judge, you should never ever participate in battles again, even in small jams, as the rumor spread. So it is quite a serious question, who are ready to officially finish their b-boy career and b-boy lifestyle, stop battling and become an official licensed judge, uh, we'll see it. But for now it is quite questionable uh, whether top ranked b-boys are going to be the licensed judge because they still want to participate in battles. I think it is supposed to keep uh, the judging system of uh, biased uh, decisions but uh, I'm not sure, so what do you think, uh, will it work out? Because uh, yeah, even though some of them uh, will not participate again, but at the same time, for example, uh, Aslan from Predators is the chief, uh, uh, chief, chief trainer of the national Russian team and he will be the judge of WDSF or for example, Focus who judged at uh, WDSF first European Championships was also the chief trainer of uh, Sweden national team. So does it really make his decision biased? We don't know. Next week on Monday 6th we have two amazing battles published on our channel. Uh, the first one is a six round battle between Russian young guns, B-Boy Breeze from Outstanding Crew and B-Boy Boomer from Moscow's Breaking Years. The second one is 8-round battle between uh, B-Boy Alec from Original People and B-Boy Ralfinho from 316. Amazing guys with fresh stuff and uh, you definitely should check them out and they will surprise you. If you want to check out these battles, you have to click the join button below the video or on the main page of our YouTube channel and become a sponsor. So these battles are available only for sponsor, but the cost of sponsorship is only $5 per month. So uh, if you want to support us, please do it. Hit the join button. Now it's beef time. Stripes put some heat on gravity in his Instagram account. Uh, and do you think uh, our scene needs some beef like this? Or it should be all about peace, love and having fun? I personally would love to see them settle their dispute in a 10 round battle. What do you think? Click the join button if we have at least 500 supporters. I promise you, we will organize it. And that's it for now. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more. See you next week. Peace.